going on folks it's dave you know your average everyday designer slash artist who's trying to turn a client-free business into generational wealth like we do anyway today we're working in affinity i'm helping one of the members of the community try and figure out how to get measurements correct in affinity designer the thing is this isn't just an affinity designer problem this is an affinity photo problem this is an affinity publisher problem this is an adobe photoshop problem this is an illustrator problem this might be a problem for you and i'm gonna help you fix it and the fix actually works across all of those platforms let's get to it so what you got here in front of you right now is Affinity Designer with this document that was sent to me by one of the members of the community. What's up, man? He's also local here to Long Beach. We actually met in a coffee shop one time just randomly. It was kind of cool. But anyway, so he felt confident enough to reach out to me and ask me about his problem. And the problem is, is he can't seem to get an accurate measurement on these lines right here. He's trying to get a very specific measurement on this line in particular. This line here needs to be exactly nine centimeters, and he didn't know how to figure that out. What he was doing is he was drawing a new line next to it and then measuring that, but he was getting the wrong measurement. He was getting like 8.6 something centimeters. And obviously that was creating a problem for him because he needed it to be exactly nine centimeters, but he, he didn't know what to do. So he sent it to me He said, hey, can you check this out? I've taken a look at it and I know exactly what the problem is, man. I got you. And the problem is there is no problem. That line is exactly nine centimeters and I'm gonna show you how to measure it. But first, let's talk about this document real quick, okay? I, I don't know his level of experience, but obviously what he's got going on here is he, he needs this basketball field to be a very specific size, but he's also created it in a larger document. Maybe he thought that he needed to have some excess stuff in case he wanted to put things in a pasteboard. I just want everybody to know that you can actually create your pasteboard, like you can drag stuff off of here. Like, let's just take a copy of this one here and drag it off here, and this should be your pasteboard. Now, of course, you can't see it right now. It's still there. That's just because I have my pasteboard set up so that you can't, it's too dark. And you can go up into your document settings up here, where is it, into preferences. You can look at your user interface and you can make your adjustments there. I'm not gonna go into that now. That's a topic for another conversation, but you can make that adjustment if you want to make this more gray, more light gray, white, whatever color you want, so that you can actually see what's going on in the pasteboard. But for our purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and create an artboard based strictly on that size of that document right there, okay? So now I have an artboard, right? And that obviously left all this other stuff there. Now, there was another line out here. Where did that line go? There it is right there. So because that line was touching the board itself, the artboard itself, it wasn't being shown. If you have something that's half on, half off, it will only show the half on part. It was actually touching it a little bit, so that's why it wasn't being shown. So there you go. Now you have an artboard, now you have a pasteboard, you can work like that. Now you notice my documents up here in the very far corner, it does say centimeters. And if you look at this point at the very corner, we have that at zero, zero. Everything's good, this is all normal, but that's not what we need. We need to know where the zero point is here, not up here in this corner. So the easy way to do that is to go up into your rulers, and of course you have to have your rulers shown. If you don't know how to show your rulers, it's command R, we'll start your rulers, or, con or control R in PC. And you just click and drag, and you can see those two lines. And what this will do is this will create a new zero point for your document. Now, if you look at it, let's zoom in this again, zero, zero, that's your zero point. And then anything that's over here is actually moves into the negative. So that being the case, if I wanna make sure that this line right here up to this point is nine centimeters, all I have to do is go into my rulers, click and drag, bring a, a line out here like that. And you can see, oh, it's actually a little bit 0.05 and I think that's probably because my zero point should be a little bit more defined Let's go like that. Let's get it perfectly exact. By the way, I don't know if you notice this V But uh, there's a little gap right there. Uh, there's a little gap right there, too Maybe I don't know play with that So now I am perfectly aligned to that outer edge and this outer edge and maybe that's not what I need But let's see the line starts there. I see what's happening He just needs to make some adjustments in the line area whatever now this box should be nine centimeters Let's try that again. I'm gonna bring the line out again. My zero point is still up there in that corner That's a 0.08. Okay, so it's probably meant to be from this inside line here I'm gonna turn snap off just for a sec Zoom in a little tighter. It's close. It's more close than you thought it was. If you needed to be exact, well then there's other ways you can do that as well. The way that I would make it exact is I would bring out my zero point again, make sure I knew exactly where I wanted that line to start at. Let's zoom in one more time, and I'm gonna go like that. And now that creates that new zero point. But I wanna make sure that this is nine centimeters. I'm gonna select that particular box, or it could be a line, or it could be a, you know an ellipse. And I'm gonna bring up my transform palette, and you can see right here that the position is actually point, negative 0 0.03. So it's just off of that zero point line. So I'm gonna bring that to zero. And then this 905 is still exists. So I'm just gonna change that to nine. Now the height, 
I don't know if it needed to be two centimeters, but it is two centimeters right now. If you need it to be more or less, then you can change that. In fact, if you could just bring in any box shape you want at any given time, if I wanted to make that nine by two, boom, just like that. But here's the thing, now you've got your zero point in this really oddball spot. Like, how do you get it back to where you wanted it back up here in the corner of the artboard? Real simple, go up here to the corner again, double click there, and you can see that your zero point moved. We zoom in again, zero to zero. And there you go, a couple of different ways to help make sure you get your measurements on your documents exactly correct. This works in Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher, also works in Adobe, and probably a number of other uh, graphics programs out there that might do the exact same thing. This is kind of universal standard. If it's not in the app that you're working, well then maybe you should change apps. If you like this Affinity video, you can check out those Affinity videos right there and uh, you know, to watch to your heart's content. Watch them all, and while you're watching them all, make sure you hit the like button on all of them and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, I might be doing more of these shorter ones, maybe. No, no promises yet. Anyway, be good today, be better tomorrow, see ya.